city. The church celebrates today the feast, the exaltation of the Holy Cross. Our mass presider is Reverend Father Melchor Bernal SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. are gathered in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of the exaltation of the Holy Cross. The cross was a widely form of execution by the Romans during that time and Jesus was one of the victims of this. It is God's highest form of His relationship with us that passed through the cross. And we carry that today. For the many occasions when we refuse to embrace our own sufferings because we want to live comfortably, not for the sake of the gospel, but for the sake of ourselves, let us once again be sorry for them and ask for God's pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Salva 
Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant, we pray, that we who have known his mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. With their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in the desert, where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Sarah serpents, which beat the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a sarap and mount it on a pole. And if any who have been beaten look, they will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And what, whenever anyone who had beaten by a serpent look at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget. Hearken, my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter mysteries from of old. While he slew them, they sought him, and inquired after God again, remembering that God was their rock, and the Most High God their Redeemer. They flattered him with their mouths, and lied to him with their tongues. Though their hearts were not steadfast toward him, nor were they faithful to his covenant. But he, being merciful, forgave their sin and destroyed them not. Often he turned back his anger and let none of his wrath be roused.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, on those in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe in the course of our time, you have seen on TV and probably movies or read something about how a person who loves so much someone throws himself or herself to that kind of ordeal so that the person that is in pain or sick or suffering might be saved. That is the course of our human nature. When we love someone, we are disposed, we become so disposed in serving the other to the extent that we are ready to take up the suffering of the other person. That's the image that we get from the feast today, the exaltation of the cross. As told to us in John 3, For God so loved the world that he gave us his only Son, for God so loved the world that God gave us His only Son. His love, the Father's love for us, had to undergo tremendous suffering through the Son. You can ask parents who have, who have children, especially a one child only, how much they will undergo to really accompany intimately their son or their daughter. And that's the image that we get here. The, son, the father wanting to show how he loves us, gave his son for us, so that everybody who looks up to the son will know 
how much the Father loves us. When we are craving for love, when we are suffering, when we don't know anything at all about what the meaning of life is, look at the cross. The cross was the Romans' way of executing people, undesirable people, according to their law. That image became the symbol of God's love for us. We might not understand the dynamics of this, the contradiction of loving and suffering. But oftentimes, we have to pass through that. When we are suffering, when we let go of our pain, we will arrive at that peace, that peace that rests in the bosom of the Father. That is our participation in the cross. The exaltation of the cross is about God's intimate participation in our lives. Especially when we are in pain, especially when we are, are suffering. We don't look, we don't seek the cross for its own sake. If we do that, then we are psychologically imbalanced. But when life gives us tremendous pain and suffering, we don't back off. We don't uh, evade that. We look at it, if we are, our lives is deeply, in, uh, is deeply rooted in God's presence, we will find meaning through our pain. Not that we embrace every pain in our lives. Some pains have to be rejected, especially what is unjust, what is unfair, what is not good for the community, what is not good for our family, what is not good for ourselves. These kinds of imposed pain, we have to reject. But if there's no other way, and if we have reflected deeply on that, and if it is like Jesus himself who tentatively who initially wanted to reject the pain while he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he embraced that because that was how he understood the Father's love for us. That Jesus had to undergo this pain and suffering and crucifixion to show us the way how to reach the Father, how to understand the Father who loves us. Every small pain, if understood in the context of God's love for us, can be uh, stages of a deeper interaction, a deeper understanding of who God the Father is for us through the Son. The Son invites us to participate in that. Come to me, all who labor and are burdened, I will give you rest. When our pain is worked through and we understand in a way the understanding coming from the love of the Father, then we will have that kind of peace, a peace that the world doesn't give. Let us pray for that grace. Let us now pray to God the Father, who loved the world so much that he gave his only Son to die for us upon the cross. Our response, through the power of the cross, hear us, O Lord. Through the power of the cross, hear us, O Lord. That the church on earth may fight to victory beneath the standard of the cross, we pray. Through, Through the, the power, power of the, the cross, cross, hear us, O Lord. That people of every nation and culture may find freedom and peace through the one whom God raised on high, we pray. Through, Through the, the power, power of the cross, cross hear us, O Lord. Lord. That those who stand in need of God's mercy and forgiveness may find hope in the cross of Christ as a way to peace and reconciliation, we pray. Through the, Through the power of the cross, of the cross hear us, us, O Lord. That the sick may see in the cross of Jesus the hope of complete healing and recovery, we pray. Through, Through the, power the power of the cross, of the cross hear us, us, O Lord. 
for the most vulnerable in the population are dear senior citizens, those who have pre-existing medical conditions, and the poor, that they may be protected from contracting the virus. We pray. Through the power, Through the power of the, the cross, cross, hear us, O Lord. That those who sleep in Christ may be cleansed of their sins through the blood of Christ's sacrifice, we pray. Through the power of the cross, hear us, O Lord. Loving Father, in this life and the next, our hope is on the cross. Grant our petitions as we praise you for the mercies through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, which on the altar of the cross cancel the offense of the whole world, cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty in our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you place the salvation of the human race on the wood of the cross. So that where death arose he might again spring forth and the evil one who conquered on a tree might likewise on a tree be conquered through jesus christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and powers tremble before you heaven and virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Thee, O Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Onesto our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember you also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Arnold and Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Once again, let us address our Father, asking for the grace that we will always do His will, no matter what happens to us, especially embracing our own cross. Let us use, uh, address our Father using the words Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having been nourished by your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, to bring those you have redeemed by the word of your life-giving cross to the glove of <coughs> the resurrection who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Oracho Emperata. Merciful and, and compassionate Father, we come, come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people task to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and in the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body. Strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion in holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Heart of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calongson, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Fernandez, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been celebrated. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. the king jesus christ is the king of kings come let us adore him in the deepest reverence we approach the glorious throne of our risen lord and king jesus christ and offer him the tribute of our homage and adoration we adore and praise him to whom the eternal father said yours is princely power in the day of your birth in holy splendor before the day star like the dew, I have begotten you. Of you it is written, a name was written on the part of the clock that covered his thigh, King of kings and Lord of lords. Full authority have been given to you both in heaven and on earth. Therefore, you have sent your disciples to make disciples of all the nations. With your blood, you purchase for God peoples of every race and tongue of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and gospel, glory and praise. Petitions Lord Jesus, you fled from the people who wish to take you by force and make you king. Yours is not an earthly kingdom, but one of justice and truth, mercy and love. Protect all who enjoy the blessings of your being reign. Bless and enlighten your Holy Father, the bishops, priests, deacons, and missionaries, and the religious men and women, that they may be witness to you and your gospel message. Give new courage and zeal to all who labor for the ex extension of your kingdom O king of the universe increase the number of priestly religious and missionary vocations so that your universal reign may be hastened by the power of your spirit grant to all the faithful and zeal for the virtues of your sacred heart and reign over all families with the fragrance of your peace 
We beg you also to talk with compassion on all who has yet do not recognize your gentle reign, especially those who have not known you yet. Bless all missionaries, especially the spiritual sons and daughters of St. Arnold Johnson, that they may with one mind and heart promote and glorious reign. In the silence of our hearts, let us present our needs and petitions to the merciful heart of Christ the King. May the Holy and Triune God live in our hearts. And may the heart of Jesus live in the rain in our hearts and the people. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm.